Hey everybody, Greg here, and today is Wednesday, September 6, 2017. This is a short video to help you identify spam emails that are intended to do harm, essentially phishing schemes or other mechanisms trying to get you to click on a link to go to a malicious website, what have you. So we've all seen spam that's just stuff we didn't ask for and it's advertising, nothing more. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is a message that came in and it's from the Dropbox team. I can see in the preview it says a new computer signed into your Dropbox account, etc. So that's what I see just in the preview of that message. Sometimes I can tell from the preview that it's malicious and I'll just delete it, right? Because uh, don't even want to open the message. But this one sounds like it could be legitimate. Uh, in fact, I was on a computer that I don't use as often. It's a, a laptop, and I believe it has Dropbox on there. So I thought, hmm, this sounds legitimate. So, you know, I tap on it. and uh, But then it says a, a document's been shared with you. So that doesn't line up. A computer was using my Dropbox account, but now a document's been shared. Um, but anyway, so let's keep reading. Is this you? So, you know, it starts to look a little fishy, uh, spelled P-H with a PH, but uh, here's some tip-offs. First of all, to undisclosed recipients, messages like this from your bank, from some account, some service, they don't go to undisclosed recipients, okay? They go to you specifically. Um, so here's the other tip. We, we notice it's from the Dropbox team. Let's tap on that email address and reveal what's the email address. Is it support at Dropbox, which a person can spoof that, but you know, is that what it is, or is it something else? Well, these people didn't even bother to spoof that. They're using some education account, uh, apparently an EDU account, which probably isn't even a legitimate one, or it's one that's, uh, there's a real person, but this isn't something they've sent out, etc. So we can tell right away this is not from the Dropbox team. There's something wrong here. Now, just one other thing that I want to show you. Those are the top two. Who's it from? What email address was it sent from? Uh, who's it to, and then take a look at some of the links in the message, right? And it's at the bottom here, you know, learn more how to protect your account. Oh, okay, if it was a, you know, a hacker, they wouldn't be telling me to protect my account, right? Well, wrong, you know, they, they put that in there to make you feel a little more reassured that this is legitimate. If I touch lightly and hold my finger on that address, it will show me where that would open if I were to open it. It would show me what that link is sending me to. Well, this is not Dropbox. This is Matt site manage, you know, whatever. They've they've bought up some random domain that they're using for this scam. And similarly on the I'm not sure link, same thing, right? So anyway, those are the some things you can do to check when you have messages that come in. Always be on guard, even if it like today for me lines up with a few facts that kind of seem like it might be legitimate. Always be cautious about these kinds of emails that come in from the accounts you use, from some shipping company, from some bank, etc. Uh, Amazon, you know, the, the services that we all use frequently, um, messages that come in from those, just always be cautious. And if you ever need to check something, get out of the email, just go directly to the web and type in, you know, in this case, case uh, dropbox.com. You know, you go to the website that's the legitimate website that you know, that you're familiar with, and you log in and see, has a document been shared with you, or is there some report in your account about uh, some computer signing in? So anyway, hey, I hope these suggestions are helpful. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, always happy to hear those. Just send them my way. So have a great day.